Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my talk show, Tell It Like It Is, and my co-host is Mr. Joseph Spencer. How you doing today, John? I'm all right, Morris, and you? Pretty good, thank you, sir. Well, so, you sound chipper today, Morris. Well, well, I try to be, you know, yeah. uh, you try to exert positive energy yeah. and live happy and longer. Okay. So today we're going to do something that's kind of, we try to pick topics that are not the norm, you know, because I was sitting here last Sunday watching uh, PBS when they have the telethons, and they feature a certain decade as far as music and they offer these DVDs mm -hmm. and last week they did a uh, I guess the decade was the 50s the theme the 50s yeah, and I thought about that because I'm a child of the 60s and I'm like what happened to our innocence you know I watched these shows and people back then were very respectful they dressed real nice you know it wasn't this real wild thing going on because I understand and don't get me wrong that nothing stays the same nothing but it shouldn't get worse it shouldn't get worse you know right. and I'm gonna say this then I'm gonna turn it over to Joe we live in a society and this is just not this country it's the entire world where technology has just taken unbelievable leaps and bounds and we are moving forward when it comes to those things those things but unfortunately when it comes to just the human condition as far as treating your fellow man with respect and not want to kill him because he has a different point of view than you have we're failing in that area so terribly and it's like why can't we move forward with everything because I'm again quickly say this, make this point, and turn it over to Joe. I was watching the episode of Sliders. It was a show that came on in the late 90s about this uh, intelligent uh, whiz kid who created a device to go into different dimensions. It was the same world, but different dimensions of yeah. that world. And they went to slid into one dimension where women ran things. Yeah. And the thing was, the women, why they, they became, got into power because of they got tired of the men with the wars and killing each other, so they took over. And once they took over, there was no more wars. But what's interesting is uh, the way that, unfortunately, women get treated in this world as far as uh, a sex object, second-class citizen, men were being treated just like the, the women. And it's, the moral of the story was, regardless of who's in power, if you don't change the way you cha do things, it, it, it's pointless. You know, you, you get the same results. But turn it over to Joe. What are your thoughts on... You know, because, I mean, you're a person that, that grew up in the 50s and the 60s, and you, you've you seen personally these different changes. Yeah, what, seen, what are your thoughts on 50s, 60s, 70s, yeah. 80s, and... and, and when you used to come walk down the street and leave your, your house door open. You can, yeah, you know? I, I, yeah I, literally, I, you leave your house door open. In Chicago, I was born in Chicago. You sleep on the front porch. Yeah. You know, people used to sleep in the park, all that, you know. You, you know, then all of a sudden, somebody, people start taking clothes off the land. But when I was young in the 60s, that... <laughs> I found out about uh, censorship. Thought it was the worst thing in the world. Initially. Initially, yeah. 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 Wow, they going to tell what they're going to stop me from watching stuff. I'm a free American. I'll watch yeah. anything I want. What the hell? I want to do. 17, yeah. 16, 17, right. 18 years old. Now I understand censorship because yeah. there's some people can't watch stuff. It, it influenced them, you yeah. know. Yeah. They believe a lot of stuff is real and, it, and a lot of stuff will work for them. Mm hmm what happened is is that uh, uh, you too much information is not good for a lot of people and censorship did have its place I agree some people need to be protected from himself themselves yeah and 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 so so-called society we need a structure of discipline you need a structure of you discipline. Know, there's some people that you don't have to give them no rules and regulations and they live peacefully peacefully and quietly with you I don't but that's not most of us that's not most of us right if, if you uh, open up the gates for some people they just go wild they just go wild yeah. I, I watched it I don't, yeah. I don't care if you're in the ghetto or you're on Michigan Avenue yeah. in the White House. There are some people who are gonna do everything. They want. That's where evil and good comes can come in. Yeah. But uh, uh, but w when you don't have somebody to protect you, especially when you a novelist, a young person, you know, and you and, and you you have all this environment environment bombing you with this information that you can't sort through in your brain, and it's exciting. You know, and it's exciting. And some people, well, this is not real. This is not the way to to to, to live. People at certain age need to be t protected, and there are people of 50 and 60 need to be protected up here and in their hearts. Yeah, because uh, I'm watching TV, 
And uh, and I'm not picking on this particular artist because it goes much deeper than a handful of women that want to show their boobs in public to celebrities. Cause uh, it's a whole deeper issue than just women being uh, you know, uh, exhibitionists. Yeah. And Miley Cyrus, I'm sitting there watching her. She's a beautiful young woman. But she's not sexy. <laughs> well, some people are back to different. She's a little girl. Well, yeah, but you know, I'm but anyway, seventeen. Yeah. Well, she's 20-something now. Well, she's a dog. But uh, <laughs> I'm looking at her. I think I forgot what show it was. Uh, it was on a late like talk show. She came on to the show yeah. with a blazer on, no top, no bra, titties just kind of hanging out. Yeah. And uh, the uh, the nice uh, host said, aren't you uncomfortable? She's like, no. You know, and there are times that we have to kind of, I guess, put a fence across stuff to kind of stop this overflow of, things that are not detrimental to the growth of young people because young folks look up to celebrities. Yeah, they do. So you, you got these young women across the country, teenagers, that see her out there with the titties out or boobs, and they it's like, I guess I could do that too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's accepted. <laughs> and it's like, it's, that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing because some men can't handle saying your tits, you in trouble. <laughs> There's some uh, men that you fully clothed and you in trouble. I, 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 I'm a city, city person, but I love being in the woods. But that's, Anyway, one morning, I know most of you people don't know, know nothing about 63rd Street. One morning, about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, I, I walk anywhere, especially, you know, when I was in my late 30s and early 40s, always did. I'm walking down the street, and I hear, hey, baby. I turn around. I knew what it was. You know, some working girl. I turn around. Sister dressed in a little jacket, some high heels, and some panties. Yeah. 2 o'clock in the morning. I said, well, baby, you're going to jail. My man told me to come. I said, baby, but you just have on some panties and a little jacket and some heels and that's and Miley Cyrus yeah, and that's is on wrong, TV <laughs> but it's understandable because yeah. she's working yeah, she's what? trying to lure you <laughs> to, to spend your money so I understand that it's totally illegal and totally <laughs> I- immoral but, but, but I'm talking about the people that are not prostitutes well they're just they're yeah. exhibitionists I mean I remember when Prince came over on a, a what a war show with his ass out remember the yeah, pants well, with the well, asses well, out yeah that, that, and it's that's like crap yeah it's like uh I'm calling myself pushing the envelope. I'm like, you're just kind of making but the moral fabric decay. It, it, it's that old-fashioned stuff. When you went to stage shows to see that crap, you know, you know, and, uh, I've seen a lot of stuff. Right. Yeah. Joe, we're going late. Some ladies, we're going to so-and-so-and-so club. We go go to New York, go into a club, and it'd be a, a homosexual debut, and gay guys be walking around in chaps with their butts out. And, what, what, why did you bring? They thought it was funny. I've seen all that. Yeah. But it's not on TV. You know, you, you, you take these people, you take street stuff and put it on television. Everybody on television is sexy. Everybody on TV and the record business. But when I was a kid, you know, back in the 60s, a lady would come out in a maxi dress, a nice little cute pair of boots, maybe a mini skirt, some hot pants. You didn't see all that stuff. Yeah. She was sexy and yeah. still sexy in design. Left something to the imagination. It left something to, and, and, and you know, to, but everybody is selling sex now. Yeah. The weather ladies come out in these form fitted yep. dresses with their It's, it's like, funny you mention that because you're right. I'm looking at the weather women. I'm like, <laughs> what the hell is the news yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and to me personally, it's distracting. Because I'm like, there's a time and place when I want to do the eye candy thing. Yeah. I want to right now soak up some information that's important being the news, not sitting here looking at somebody's, uh, you know, cleavage <laughs> line or, whoa, how did she squeeze into that dress? Oh, man. You know, and, and it's just so unfortunate <laughs> that uh, things are just changing to the extent where it's not a good thing. Because, again, we got technology leaps and bounds and we moving forward. Why can't we move forward as to say, mm, let's figure out a way to not uh, use violence as our last resort because I don't agree with you, so therefore I'm going to kill you. I mean, Maybe like the uh, John Lennon song, maybe I'm just a dreamer, and I'm not the only yeah. one. But I would like to see that before I die. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think that I am because I see things just constantly getting worse. I, I, I thought I'd be able to see it, too. And like I said, I, I was brought up in the hippie era. You know, I, and love and peace and kindness. I'm 68 years old. All of a sudden, it just faded away. Yeah. It just and, and we talked about how uh, 
and we talked about this several times, how we look up and see these little kids in the morning taking these little kids to school. Yeah. What happened to mom or daddy? Well, mo- well we couldn't cross the street when we were that couldn't, age. Couldn't Remember? Now you got little kids going a great distance I think that's by a themselves. Transitional thing, you know, you know, because it's the breakdown of a family structure. Yeah, well, because both when, families, when you, you know, when, either you don't have a mom and dad in the house, or either mom and daddy both are working. Well, you even when happened. we grew up in that era, yeah. when mama, because my mother started to work, yeah. you know, it was the era where it was that transition yeah. where women are going to work now. And and I, and I say this, that's not an excuse. No, it's you not know? an excuse. But you like, know, in, in I the, think the problem is, and this is just my opinion, the family structure has went to hell. Daddy has never been in the house when the children were born because mm-hmm. they were just casually dating and having sex. Yeah. And now it's mama. The child and grandmama. Right. You well, know? Well, in the 50s, when I was going to school, if you had to walk a half a block, a block to school, and you were walking by yourself or with your big sister, two or three years older than you. We you, walked in groups, though. We walked in, yeah. in a little group. Yeah. And another point I want to make, from my house all the way to school, somebody was going, well, I saw your kids, Rose. Yeah. You Fam- passing, the, the neighborhood the watched neighborhood all the kids. Everybody. Right. You can go from your house from a, point A to point B. Without somebody right. seeing you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you yeah. know? And now so, you have neighbors that don't want to speak. So ain't it's my like, kid. Right. And, and even if, if it is my kid, don't bother me. You right. know, uh, I get mad that you come bringing this to me you got when it. I'm bringing it to you out of love and caring for all God's creatures as opposed to I'm trying to reprimand you for not doing your job because if you do your job you got to worry about being reprimanded mm-hmm. you know so it's like so if you get upset then there must be a problem you're talking about censorship censorship when I was a kid guess what was my what was my playboy my I know and now I'm gonna fill in the blank the the, the series of the Montgomery you Wars, got it. lingerie <laughs> yeah you got yeah, it. exactly you know, there you go that was my playboy there you go and when the lady walked in the room you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, now, now kids got Playboys. They got the legs. Yeah. Or, I, or actually, after having sex under yeah. thirteen years old, watch it on TV. But you're right. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. I couldn't wait for that, that big uh, catalog to yeah. come in the mail. Uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, and that was kind of innocent because right. these women weren't naked. They were they just naked. modern gear that women underwear that women underwear. wear. But it was exciting. Yeah, it was. The seat and draws fit up. <laughs> I mean, if you give a, a, a young guy these days that uh, magazine, he throw it in the garbage. Throw it in like, the garbage. Man, I want hard porn. I, I'm going to the strip club. Watching the news, they did a, a, a bus. They did a raid on 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 on, on, on what you call? What do you call it? Men go out. By, they got a name for it. They busted a 15 year old boy trying oh, yeah. to buy a hook. Oh yeah. And my name the vice squad. Uncle Joe. I said, Ross, you got to be kidding. No, Uncle Joe. I said, Rossan, you got now kids, dudes out here, 14, 15, 16 years old, buying hookers. Yeah. I said, you have got to be. See, but that's that's come from not having censorship, yep. you know, and not having strong family values. Because I mean, unfortunately, and here's the interesting, sad story. And Bernie Mac, the late Bernie Mac, the comedian, did a skit on this. Mm-hmm. He was saying, I remember back when I was growing up. Uh, grandmama was 70 years old, you know, big old booze, mm. and, you know, now grandmama 37 years old. 37. I was at this uh, fast food joint years ago, mm-hmm. and this lady in front of me, she probably was in her early 40s, if that, yeah, probably early 40s, and the guy behind the counter was younger and kind of, you know, uh, flattering her, and she's blushing, and she's like, uh, you know, I'm a grandmama. And I, I kind of, my head went back, and he's like, you a sexy grandmama. And she thought that that was a good thing. She thought it was a good thing. Because I'm like, I'm doing the math. If you in your late 30s and you a grandmother, that means that you had your daughter when you were 15. I heard two, two or three little, little girls talking. Joyce, yeah, girl. How are you going to be 13 and, and, your, and your grandmama 37? And they're trying they try to do the math. And the little girl, she was embarrassed. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I'm going 13, 13, 13. Everybody had babies at 13. Yeah, exactly. She had her daughter at yeah. 13, and her daughter had her daughter at 13. So it's like, uh, and we're about to wrap this up. Mm-hmm. The purpose of this, I guess, discussion is to kind of, I guess, shed a little light on why can't we as a, a society improve our interactions with our fellow man? You know, why does it have to be uh, murders? Why does it have to be wars? I mean, it's getting worse. I mean, all the talking in the world, because what happens when a young black man get killed by the cops, uh, people come out with these signs, stop the killing and all that, and half the people in the audience are guilty. Mm-hmm. 
for raising certain people to go out there and can put themselves in situations where the mm -hmm. cops show up. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, there are situations where you're manning your business, you're not mm -hmm. doing anything illegal, and unfortunately the cop shows up and something happens and mm -hmm. you out of here. But that's a smaller percentage than the people that are still in cars mm -hmm. and expecting not to get shot. Not to get shot. You know, and, and, and I have the utmost sympathy and compassion for every life, but you can't put yourself in a situation that might warrant a bullet. Censorship. In the movies, you can't, you get an $80,000 car and you get away from the cops. Cops can't catch you because you're in this $80,000 $80, car. Yeah. You know, traffic is not, it's not like it used to be in the 50s no. and the 40s and, and the 60s. You you can't you, you can't go 90 miles an hour down the street without running into yeah. somebody because the street's crowded, number one. Number two, yeah. technology got you, got you tagged. Because here's you know? the thing. You don't fight crime with law enforcement. You fight crime with jobs. With jobs and in and, and the household there you go. and the family. There you go. I mean... You can put all the cops on the street in the world if you want to. That's not going to solve problems. The only thing that's going to happen is some of those people that the cops in the act with are going to get shot and killed. They're going to get shot you and know, killed. And uh, that's just unfortunate because we talk about this because no one wants to talk about this, show. And then we're going to wrap this up. The problem that's causing the problem. And the problem is this. Too many young folks out there that don't have any guidance mother at home with the, her mother and still a, a husband and wife raising their che children the right way that's the problem mm -hmm. we need to focus on that we need to put together programs going to encourage that and still i'm 16 years old screwing at my mama house when she ain't home she i had a baby home, right you know dude gone already before the baby born dude gone and, and, he on his way somewhere making another baby and and, and uh, uh when i was in school i got into art institute in chicago and uh i found out that certain people of certain races and income uh, they were taking birth control pills at 13, 14 years yeah. old, you know, and because you uh, can't stop people from having right. sex, and so we're not trying to. In, in the neighborhood at the time, uh, 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 birth control was it's a sin. You're gonna die and go to hell. Yeah, you know, your 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 body is a sin. You're gonna die and go to hell. Instead of going, hey, boom, they're gonna do this. I, I was having sex before I found out what a Trojan was. Yeah, you know, now, I'm not proud of that, but. Uh, I was having sex. What the hell is that? That's a Trojan. Yeah. You don't know what a Trojan is? Well, well you follow what's, <laughs> what's happening in your environment. Right. Because you don't want to be the one that stands out like a sore thumb in a negative way mm -hmm. in, in some people's eyes. You ain't part of the program. You square. You and you're square, not right. smart enough at that age to realize square is, is, is cool being square. It's cool being square. Because I ain't got to worry about when uh, I become a man and I'm struggling with a low-income job because I didn't have the means and opportunities to get a good college education. That You're right. I got five kids in tow. I think I got away. Here comes child support for the next 20-some years mm -hmm. taking my money. Mm -hmm. You know, so you got to think smart and you got to have somebody to teach you yeah. to think smart because yeah. my mother had 10 kids. None of her kids brought babies in her house because she, she she laid the law down. She's like, don't bring no babies up in here. Don't bring no babies. And we, right. none of us did because well, we knew. There were six of us and, and nobody brought babies in the house until yeah. they brought the babies home. Hey, mama, this is your granddaughter. Exactly. You know, but granddaughter. it wasn't like I live upstairs and I go yeah. to the hospital and I bring the baby back. Yeah, I got two babies in the back room. Yeah, and, and, mama's house. and I got a different boyfriend now. You got a different boyfriend now. You know, so I help take you these babies. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean. He's a good man. That is the problem. The crime issue mm -hmm. in all these cities. I mean, if you interview most of those guys that they incarcerate for either stealing cars or shooting each other because they're in gangs, I would say, Joe, about 90% of those guys did not grow up with their father and their father was not married to mm -hmm. their mama. That's our problem. We need to fix that problem. Mm -hmm. all, the, all the protesting in the world ain't going to change that, and all the changing of superintendent police officers ain't going to change it. Well, you, you do have, like, when I was a little boy, we played cops and robbers and and uh, I, you want who want to be a cop? I always wanted to be a cop. I couldn't understand why uh, my other little friend, hey man, don't be gangster, don't be. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't understand. Well, they didn't glorify violence. Well, gangsters you know. glorify violence. Yeah, they glorify and they, violence. And they, they they would portray the world the role with, I'm gonna make you do what I yeah. want you want, want want you what I want you to do. They play yeah. they you know cause. That's what gangsters did. Because the movies used to dictate that the gangster movies, yeah. and everybody wants to go out and be a tough guy like and Equity clothes, Robinson. And, yeah. Right. But now, what's taking over to keep that going is rap music. And I'm right. not. And I'm not trying to point fingers at everybody that does rap because there's some people that do some positive stuff. That's what they call the you know gangster rap. Yeah. You know. I, you know. Yeah. When I was, when I was a kid, the Egyptian Coven, the Five Tree, and whoever, they said yes sir, no ma'am. They can't miss Jackson. They would still respect. Chill it out. 
Miss Jackson, don't let her hear that, man. You know, they, they, nobody got popped sitting on their front porch. Yeah. They stick a ice pick in your neck. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but on to... that note, <laughs> we're going to sign off. And uh, again, this video was just basically to kind of, uh, you know, talk about how can we fix this global problem, you know? And if we can, at least let's create some dialogue to, to make everybody aware of there's a change that has to be made for, from everybody, you know, because, I mean, we're all God's children and we should be able to work out any differences that we have and the result shouldn't be uh, the solution is to kill you. But on that note, I'm going to sign off until next time. I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I'm Morris Man and my co-host, Joseph Spencer. Keep thinking. Yeah. Have a good night. Later, Morris. Always a pleasure. Thank you.